Snoop Dogg calls out Oprah Winfrey and Gil King, accuses them of trying to tarnish Kobe Bryant's legacy with a um, rape interview question. The outrage emanated from Gil's interview with Lisa Leslie, during which the reporter probed the former WNBA star about Bryant's 2003 rape case. Um, Snoop Dogg maintained that um, Gil and... Um, he maintained that Gayle and Oprah have not been going after having Weinstein and have stood on the fence when it comes up. And King herself responded to the criticism regarding her mentioning of Brand rape case, claiming that she was mortified and embarrassed by the network's decision to choose um, that particular clip to promote her interview with Leslie. This is just... So I wish I could use Snoop Dogg's words, like I no, you really can't. wish. And I said I wish you I could can't. use them, like because Snoop Dogg is currently. I think that's. that's I, of that. I'm actually happy. No, nobody that see. Snoop, Do you know what? A lot that of people. Snoop is, I say smooth. <laughs> I'm happy that Snoop is talking about this because mm -hmm. when um, Monique, uh, Monique spoke about it, they felt like oh she's she coming from a bitter place, place. Women stressing yeah. women and blah blah. blah. But I'm so happy that Snoop Dogg is. Talking I don't care about if Snoop Dogg is on the fire. It just shows that a lot of people are not smart because of the words. Yeah, a lot of people are not smart enough. That was why 50 Cent said, the people that I apologize, ignore the message you know, and choose to focus follow. on the language. He said, I mean, um, he said I apologize, apologize for his language for his in language. advance so people will get distracted by words and miss the point. Expressing how he feels gets Gil and Oprah, funky, dog face, LOL. <laughs> now, I wish I could say the things Snoop Dogg said because um, these women, they've been at it for a long time and they've been getting away with all of these things. And I think it's time for them to really, for somebody to really stop these women. Either you take, but it's so sad that Oprah owns her own network so you can okay. take her off TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Gil King, and she's blaming CBS, then sue CBS if, if that's Why not. is she blaming CBS? Was it not she's in the clip? She's saying they posted it, but I'm thinking Was that, it not in the clip? Did they exactly. manufacture it? Did they, did they edit it? She said it was, um, it was taken out of, she said it was taken out of context that if it was somebody that if she had seen it herself she would be so mad at herself as well i think the well. point was that she had a very long extensive we really do not her, care why that was, was why that, was that question of the why, interview why would she especially ask now nobody's saying you shouldn't ask that probably later hold on get, is, 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 if is a is, leslie had to tell her we have to now let it go because she kept probing Mm. kept asking and she had to say you know what and she was like and even when leslie was trying to talk about kobe in, a, in such a good light that he's not that type of guy she mm -hmm. never saw him as um somebody who would um take advantage of women and stuff like that he said but you wouldn't see that though you were his friend like what were you trying to go yeah, that's what she was actually like you wouldn't you. see that like why would you say i wouldn't see okay so because we're friends means mm -hmm. when you're doing something terrible i won't see it Mm. Do you understand? I mean, let it slide for a while, but I after think, after when we're in our corner, I'll be why, like, why, why would you, you do that? Why you bring it up? You know, why bring why it? didn't you bring Kobe to your show to ask him directly? When he was alive, this was you had a lot of time to probe this guy, to ask him questions. It was discharged. These cases were dismissed. Yeah. Do you understand? It's not like any of these cases are still ongoing. Oh, None. None. Do you understand? Yeah. And then you're bringing it back up. You did the same thing with Michael Jackson. These cases were dismissed, but you brought back these little kids with lies because you, there's nothing you can tell me that living I think Neverland the Michael was Jackson all lies. One specifically, it was very unfortunate because the entire documentary was even debunked, mm -hmm. and people were calling out, or, um, calling out Oprah and telling her that she should make a statement about it. They've already debunked most of the things that were presented in this documentary as facts. So that means that you peddled these people as. You know, you put them as victims because it wasn't, it was no longer alleged victims now. It was victims that you brought them out to be. And then you said that, Mike, you, you, you convicted Michael Jackson mm. on your show. That was basically what Oprah did. And from that moment, that was when people started becoming skeptical of Oprah and her dealings. And people were more skeptical, especially when, when it was time for her to talk about Avin Winston's case, she was very, she was on defense. She was not, make it about she did not him. convict him. Mm -hmm. She did not say, I, I completely do not stand for what Avi has done. He's my, he was my friend, but I cannot condone any of his actions. She didn't do all of that. But when it comes to black men, she's always ready to jump on the wagon, always That's ready to support. That's she's trying to do with Russell the, Simmons. You know, there's the Russell Simmons, there's Kobe now, and then there was Michael Jackson. It feels like all of the black men who have had, like, great legacies, she's ready to, like, tarnish their image. And more black people, more black celebrities are starting to speak up. Before it was 50 Cent, 50 Cent called her out. Now you see, now you see, now you see why Tyler her. Perry makes uh, black women look like they're bitter. <laughs> <laughs> but then, she was not, his best friend. Exactly, Tyler Perry is also yeah. 
because he knows her. I'm sure is, he's getting his most of his stories from her. Tyler Perry has not come out openly to also speak. Whether Tyler Perry for, hardly talks about. No, 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 not for really great. Now, I mean, your best friend is usually dragged. Yeah, and he's Tyler he is a vocal he, person. No, he hardly he hardly defends her. I said, Gail, uh, Monique talked about him. She was like, he also agreed that okay, that he was wrong. He, he, she wrong. did something wrong, mm -hmm. but he would never openly come out to talk about it because mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I don't understand it's their power, it's freshness, it's bond. Do you know how much Oprah invested in Tyler Perry? In Tyler Perry. Mm. So it would be very. Do you understand? Very hard like we're talking about billions of dollars. Yeah, maybe maybe um, have he invited invested so much also yeah. millions? Also sorry, Oprah. because the thing mm -hmm. is that people should realize that opera is seated with a lot of powerful people mm -hmm. if we want to talk about powerful media people. moguls mm -hmm. mm. opera is seated at that table mm. so whether we like it, it or not step on toes. exactly whether we like it or not she is not going to want to then step on get toes. off then get off have, documentary have seen, then stop seen, acting like you want to expose yeah. the truth have you seen exactly. what bill Which cosby the said so the response what, bill, what? Bill, bill, bill yeah yeah i saw bill cosby and um i'm glad he actually said that because um he shows that he still has hope even though they locked him up and he's still very 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 hopeful about the situation it mm -hmm. didn't come out from um oh they did me bad they did me this he, he made me look like okay this is a man who is actually healing and actually learning from where he's i think he's in a good place from that response i mean and really, we've established him yeah. being in a good place when the news about him training people and um, sharing I his think life it's, story it's in a very good out. place so and i think when I think it comes out his life each yeah. day as and i think when it comes out it will be even be better yeah mm. so still we'll regard as regards this um opera and Gil king thing because i've been seeing so many people's comments and then so people have come up from the angle of um we are trying to silence victims or we are trying to not mm. talk about or you know we're trying to perpetuate a rape culture and i just want to say that when it comes to this particular topic nobody is trying to mm -hmm. absolve if these men actually committed these crimes nobody is saying that they have not done that mm -hmm. what we are talking about is how the platform fairly is how they are hypocritical i don't know what how they are against black men they would call out black men who have done this things but they would I, don't they I, don't, I don't know i don't know what they they get the probate, but not do the same thing. i don't know Why what exactly social media wants yeah so the fact that even if we believe somebody is wrong should we jump at them strangle them beat them up and do jungle justice because if these cases have gone to court mm -hmm. and they were dismissed they didn't have any reason to sentence these people to jail who are we so why are you telling me that um, we're trying to silence why don't you go to the court of law and tell them they're trying to silence victims it's not just the do you understand mm -hmm. like because okay. what people are against is not just the court of law it's about a system that tries to silence women. But, when Kobe but I'm was saying alive. that when it comes to this particular situation, we cannot say it's a system that silences women because they had the opportunity exactly. to actually interview Kobe and ask him these questions so Kobe did when a lot he was of media, alive. Media he did and he even apologize. I think there was a particular talk. interview where he apologized that, oh, at a, about one particular lady, I can't remember her name now for the life of me, but um, it was like um, he didn't realize that that was how he made her feel. She felt, yeah. You understand that now that doing in the trial that he could actually see how she felt and he's do you know that's a remorseful guy he's actually a re, he was actually a responsible guy to own up to all of those things and be like oh wow you know there are certain things that i might feel like okay myself and lc were this cool but i wouldn't even know that i'm making you feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. do you understand until you come out and maybe you're telling somebody else and i'm there and i'm like really like i didn't even know this made you feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. so there's certain things we do yeah. that we do not even know the what's it called now the magnitude of what we're doing so yeah. it's really i think sad. i'll just say this also that the truth is just that there are so many powerful men who have had complicated legacies mm -hmm. but what i what the issue i have is the fact that when it comes to black men the conversation is always about their complicated legacies let me tell you other white men other powerful white men who have had complicated legacies david bowie has had com has had a complicated legacy don't go too far elvis presley has had a com uh, complicated legacy nobody ever talks whenever they bring Clinton. up whenever they bring up their name <laughs> nobody ever ever refers to these things that they've done people act like it did not even happen but when it comes to black men they ignore whatever it is that they've, they've achieved done, in their yeah, field and focus and on, focus on yeah. just so that is my issue and for me it just signifies that there is an institutional and racism. we cannot have two strong racism. black women in that space in that and they are, space, and they are also still supporting